This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Honda Accord. It is a 2018 Honda Accord Sport. Um, it has 22,550 miles. It's a 1.5 liter turbo, uh, front wheel drive. It was a uh, purchase in uh, Los Angeles from Allstate Insurance. It is on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Um, in a minute, I'll show you the auto check on it. But basically, the insurance company does not want to be sued by whoever buys it from us. That's why they give them a salvage title when they're not even wrecked at all. This is a beautiful car. Um, anyway, I'll uh, go through this vehicle with you. In a second, I'll show you the auto check. Uh, we, all we had to do to this vehicle was buy a set of brand new tires, discount tires, which I'll show you the invoice for, um, and send it to detail. Car is absolutely immaculate. Um, put it up in the air pressure sprayed the undercarriage just to see what's going on it didn't even need it it looked like brand new underneath but did it anyway it's kind of what our what we're doing lately we're also doing videos starting inside now because it's getting hot in tucson i'm sick and tired of doing videos outside when it's 900 degrees so <laughs> it's kind of distracting to me so i don't do that anymore um the only thing i could ever find on this thing really was it has this little thing here and a little road rash here from a curb that's the only thing I could find in this entire car. Um, really pretty. Anyway, we put a brand new set of 19 inch tires on it, $1,008. Uh, brand new tires, uh, 19s are expensive, just so you know. Um, 18s would have been about 550. So having a brand new set actually matters um, quite a bit financially for you. Um, let me pop the trunk here. I've got some paperwork to show you. All right. First of all, here's the invoice for the uh, for the uh, tires. Bought it uh, 4:30 of 22 in the afternoon. That was Friday afternoon for the uh, 18 Accord. Paid one thousand and eight dollars. There'll be a link in the in the ad. You will to see that. This is Mannheim Mark Report. I run these whenever I buy a vehicle. I want to know what the dealers are paying for them at auction. Um, this vehicle, we put the VIN in. Comes up with uh, with twenty two thousand five twenty six. Uh, dealers would pay twenty eight thousand dollars for this. Now that's on a clear title, uh, which is why you're saving a fortune. But that's what they would pay for it. Um, here is the uh, Kelly Blue Book Sport model, 22,000 miles. Typical listing price would be 31,171. Okay, here is the auto check. There's your VIN, 1.5 liter Sport. Let's see, it says here, salvage brand. That's due to theft, which I will show you here following along here. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see. No accidents reported, no damage reported, because there is none. This car is front line ready at any dealership in the world, condition-wise. Insurance loss, that's uh, because the uh, victim was paid a total loss for the vehicle, which means they got a huge check. Um, there's the uh, theft record, okay? Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So it was born in Sacramento. Paramount, California, stolen, 128 of 22. Vehicle reported stolen. Uh, theft report was made the 28th and 28th. Uh, they were all the 28th. And then on February 20, uh, 17th, 20 days later, it was recovered. Okay? So that's all the paperwork we have on it. Let me uh, get this out of the car. Okay. Got all the tools. Got everything in here. This is... Uh, Boom, that's how that goes. There you go. So you got all the tools and all the stuff for changing a tire. I drove this over the weekend. Just a beautiful car. All right, so you got doors locked, unlocked. Let me hop in here and start it up. All right, I'll put the keys here in the center console. It's also easier to see the cluster when you're indoors. There you go. Okay. Open that 
hood. I'll have to one hand it because I believe this car has a hood prop. I believe. Yes, it does. So there's your motor. There's all your stickers where they belong. Little turbo motor runs good too, man. It's quick. I was surprised that uh, 1.5 liter they make actually gets up and goes. This is a manual seat on this side, obviously in great shape. Got some uh, wheel lock key, got a uh, manual. Oh, you know what? Very important. Right here is a switch on off switch, valet switch for the trunk. It took me forever to figure out how to open the trunk. Of course, all I had to do was Google it, but I'm not that smart, so it took me a while to figure that out. I'm sure everyone's like, well, Google it. All right beautiful interior my brothers will take uh, my brother will take um, probably 40 to 60 HD photos of this vehicle you'll be able to zoom in on whatever you see and I've made a mess with the paperwork right nice it's all in the ad so we don't need to see it again let's see window I got my car over there on the lift my little matrix my daily driver I'm about to put it up in the air and give it a little cleaning. Let's see, there's your mirror out, in, up, and down. Other side out, in, up, and down. Let's see, what else? We have a tilt wheel. Boom, boom, boom. Power seat forward, back, up, down. Seat back forward and back. I really like this car, by the way. This is a really nice car. Really nice car. Very hard for me not to just drive it. So when I gave it to the detail shop yesterday, I had driven it about 35 miles. It's right down the street from us. And it was at 31 miles, an hour, miles per gallon, which means they just had it sitting with the air conditioning on the whole time, which is nice. Ruined my uh, fuel economy, but when it had 35 miles on it, when it read 35, it was at 31.1, and that's all city driving, so it does get 31 miles a gallon. Um, you got the uh, radio here. Um, when you plug in your phone, you got a USB port here. You can get um, uh, Apple CarPlay, the whole bit. Then you can obviously have maps and the whole bit, so. Um, AC works great. Boom, 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 boom. This is a really nice car, man. I couldn't believe what it booked for. 31000 until I drove it. Now I get it. You got the economy mode. So there's economy right there. That's on and off. And then you got sport mode. Gets red, right? Okay. You got the parking brake here. I think that's about it. I'm going to take off here. I'm probably going to take this lift out so I don't hurt anybody or any of my cars here taking them out. But so much nicer to start. Let me get the gate open in here. I've got a lanyard around my neck with the remote, which is kind of making noise during our video. But whatever. Get the seat back up a little bit. There we go. All right. Anyway, this is a this is a really nice car, man. I would give this to my mom who makes a lot of money and has nice cars. <laughs> I would give it to her in a heartbeat. This is that kind of car. You'd put your 78-year-old mom in this one. Um, anyway, all right. If you come to Tucson to drive it home, obviously you have to have license plates and you have to have insurance. On the current salvage title we have for this vehicle, um, you can't do that. Okay. Uh, we need to take it to the cops and get what's called a level three inspection. That's gun wearing real cops, not clerks at the MBD. It's real cops. They inspect it. They give it a level three. Uh, once I have that, I take the salvage title I have and the level three to Arizona Motor Vehicles and get what's called the restored salvage title. At that point, I can issue you plates and you can get insurance on it. Okay, obviously mandatory if you're going to drive it home. That's $200 to have us do that for you before you get here. 
Um, if you, uh, you also then have to pay taxes and a dock fee. Taxes are your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our state city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. So you come here, you pay your state tax plus our city of 2.7, $250 dock fee, and 200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship it out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing. But if you want us to restore the title before it ships out, let us know um, and we will add $200 to the deal and we will get that done for you, okay? Um, what else? A little four-way stop here. I think I'll wait for this white truck. I don't feel like getting hit by anybody here. All right, and this is a school zone too be Flowing Wells Junior High School right there. Home of the Mustangs. Um, what else? Anyway, uh, but, but if you are gonna ship out of state um, and you need help shipping, let me know at the time of sale. I can help you, I can do it for you. Um, we can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the car so that you know, you only uh, make one payment instead of two. Uh, but, 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 but. If you wanna do the shipping yourself, you're welcome to. We don't care. That'd be, make it easier on me, but I'm pretty good at it. And shipping can get a little tricky lately. Um, this is a pretty cheap car to, tre uh, to uh, by the way, it has lane departure. It didn't like me getting close to the lanes and started doing the old uh, lane departure shake. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. What else? Let's see if I can get going here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll through this one here. There we go. Boy, this thing just shifts like butter. Absolute, this is a nice car. Um, anyway, if you need help with shipping, let us know, okay? And we can help or you can do it yourself, whatever. Obviously, you want your car as soon as you can. Uh, deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until we have a deposit, this car will stay for sale. So get your deposit in, please, okay? Um, last part of every video, I say the same thing and I say it every time. It kind of doesn't really pertain to this vehicle because it's such a nice car, but um, we don't have salesmen, so we don't have commissions to pay. We don't have a fancy location. You just saw where we rolled out of. Uh, we pay a dollar a year to our uncle for that location, okay? <laughs> um, uh, that does include the potholes and all the other stuff, but uh, it, it's also very cheap. Um, they also have, you know, attendants serving lattes and scones and everything uh, at the auto mall, which is, we're about a half a mile away from on that road right there. And, you know, you have to pay for that stuff when you buy a vehicle from them. Uh, they also know that if they sold you this vehicle and it was out of factory warranty and something broke, you'd come in and say, I just paid a fortune for this car at your dealership, uh, fix it. And they would, because they also include five to $700 uh, in the price of every vehicle for future repairs. <laughs> Most people don't know that, but they do. That's another reason they're so expensive. Okay, what does that pertain to us? Well, on day one, you're going to be the owner of this vehicle. We give you the auto check, we give you every bit of information we know about the vehicle so the car ends up in the right garage. The right garage is somebody who realizes they saved a fortune because we don't have to pay all the stuff that the new car dealerships have to pay to sell vehicles. And it's on a salvage title, which is gonna save you a fortune on this car. Um, this car is a legit $30,000 plus car. Uh, it's a great color. It's a beautiful car. It runs and drives great. It's got a brand new set of tires, um, very low miles. This is a kick-ass car, okay? Uh, don't put it in a lake. Don't crash it. Um, take it in for servicing regularly for fluids and filters. This thing will go for a long damn time, okay? Um, you're the owner on day one. Uh, if something were to happen to it the day you own it, you're gonna fix it, okay? With your money, and that's fine. That should be fine because you just saved a fortune buying from us, okay? Um, that's the only thing that we have to say on the uh, tough love side. The good part about this thing is I will be extremely proud to sell this to a person because I really, really, really like this car a lot. I don't know if you can tell, but it's true. <laughs> this is a nice car. And uh, we just sold a bunch of really nice vehicles in the last week, which is why our inventory is way down again. It's hard to keep them up. We uh, <laughs> tend to sell them a lot cheaper than anyone else because like I said, we don't have to sell them for a lot of money um, and we just keep them moving. But that also means that we have low inventory all the time. <laughs> so, whatever. 
I'd rather have that than not be able to sell vehicles, right? Um, let's see, what else we got going on here? So these videos can be um, 17 minutes and 38 seconds. So we're at 15 minutes now. Smartphone application. I wish I would have brought my USB cord in here. Of course, I think everybody knows what what uh, uh, Apple CarPlay looks like. I guess I should reset the clock, huh? Audio. Boom. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Where is the volume control on this thing? I don't know. It's somewhere over here. Let's see. I'm not sure. Oh, this is all... This is all, uh, whatchamacallit, cruise control stuff. Lane departure. Collision stuff down here. Then you got over here, let's see. Trip reset. Hold that down and it resets. Boom, boom, boom. Reset. There's that. Go here. Range and fuel. Speed and time. Home, audio, <laughs> really cool, huh? Really cool. Oh, here's the volume. Change the station. Hell yeah. There you go. Let's see. So I'll just keep going here until we run out of time. Phone. No phone detected because I didn't set one up. Let's see. Boom. Traffic signs. Home. Let's see. Driver attention. Oh, you got the old coffee cup. Driver attention level. Maintenance. Maintenance. There you go. Oil life. Someone just did the oil, huh? Hmm. Let's see. Safety and support. See, so you got the 